Welcome back to the channel. Today we're testing our glow plugs. First thing we're gonna do is grab us a multimeter. We're gonna need that because we're gonna hook this up to the glow plugs and see if we're even getting voltage to the glow plugs themselves. So if you're doing this by yourself, this could be pretty tough. This uh, multimeter here has an attachable head, that's Bluetooth, so I'll be able to do this by myself. But I find, at least on my truck, I'm gonna be able to get to the glow plugs a lot easier from the passenger side. And I got these alligator clips that I'm gonna hook up to the glow plugs. This truck does have a lift pump, and the previous owner had removed the factory fuel filter setup. So it, yours could be more congested uh, for your Duramax application. So I have our alligator clip for the ground side hooked to a negative on the battery. And the red alligator clip is hooked to that bus bar. We got it set on DC voltage, which is this straight line with a dot here. And like I said, I'm going to attach this head and take it with me to the truck. Turn the key on. Nope. We have no voltage, which is what we figured. So we're now on the driver's side of the engine. Towards the rear of the uh, engine firewall area. This contraption here is going to be the glow plug. Uh, box. The red wire is hot, so I'm going to start with just doing some uh, voltage test. So I have our negative on the 40 multimeter alligator clamp to our negative on our battery. I guess I'll move y'all over here so we can see this together. But this is the hot wire coming straight out the battery. And we got 12.6 volts as we should. So I have removed the cover and I'll show you all. And we have two relays here, which is great because them are easy to get and replace. But I wanna do some more troubleshooting. They're not easy to get off. So I'm putting our multimeter still on DC volts on this plug here. And we're gonna see if we're getting voltage and just test everything back in the truck. So two things we need to look for is that glow plug light and look at voltage. So we have no voltage. So now I have moved our multimeter lead to this front post under our hot. And let's go test again to see what we got inside the truck. We have voltage. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this whole controller and being that we have a live hot wire feeding it, I went ahead and disconnected our grounds on both batteries. And now I can just start taking apart these three leads and there's two bolts holding it. And we're gonna get this out so we can troubleshoot. Pretty sure these relays, I got confidence. That wasn't too bad. I used a 13 millimeter and a quarter inch ratchet with a flex head. So if you don't have a flex head, you might need a little bit of extension. But everything came off really easy. The three leads, and then there's a nut here and there that holds the actual control on. Oh, we got two more. We got to remove this, these smaller leads, unless there's a connector. I feel a fusible link. And I don't feel the other one. So let me take these off and then we'll pull it out. So we have our relays disconnected. I will tell you it was a pain to get these out. So to, to do this without breaking your tabs, you need to access this window here in the back. And you have to push down this tab right here. I had to put this in a vise uh, to be able to put a lot of weight to push down on the tab and push the relay out. So it slides out the rear, but mine were very hard to come out. So that's one reason yeah, it's just easier to pull this thing. If you try to do this inside the truck, you're gonna break it. 
And then the tab is actually for the plug side of it, not the relay. So to get the relay out, you just lift up on this tab and it slides out. So you're just going to lift up here and it just slides out like so. So this is a big four pin. From what I've seen, this is a hundred amp. So gigantic. I was hoping to be able to get these local. Nothing seems available, but we need to test them. So let me show you the tool I have for that. So I bought this tool off of Amazon. It is a super relay buddy. It wasn't that expensive. It is by ES. So both of these relays are big four pins. And the more I'm learning, you have two relays, one for the glow plug and one for our intake air heater. So it looks like on that controller here, when we did the testing, we had voltage on this one, which is our air heater. And we did not have voltage on this one, which is our glow plugs. So that means one of these relays is probably good and one is bad. So it's pretty simple. You just got to orient your, your blades. This thing is press and release. And it goes through a cycle. You can hear the relay clicking. And if the green light remains on, that means that relay is good. So we got one good relay. Now for our other one. and it's failed. So we just got back from the store. We picked up some relays. These are Bosch 70 amp relays. So let's find our ground. Hook it up to the tester. Boom. We're gonna stick, orient our blade like this one's like horizontal. Put in there. A little wide, hit the button. So this one passed. So something else I want to note is the ones from Bosch don't have this uh, tab here. I think it's probably one reason why these things are a lot cheaper. I don't really see a need for it. The harness clips in uh, to the, the base here and the relay can't go anywhere. You got the backing here. So I'm not really too concerned about the relay just falling out. So I have everything reassembled. Uh, I thought these were 13 millimeter is actually a 12 millimeter. Uh, the old Harbor Freight socket here, but 12, 13 will work, but is definitely not right. So I have everything hooked back up. I am leaving my boots off so we can test everything. All right, let's see what happens. We got voltage. All right, now we got everything cleaned up. I'm gonna start it up and actually move it. So what I want to see now is this volt gauge. Let's see if we can see it together because the sun's glaring pretty bad. There we go. So what we should see is our volt gauge go up to a little bit past that first mark, which I think is 12. And then after 10 seconds, uh, it should come up even higher because that means that 100 amps worth of uh, glow plugs have kicked off. So boom, our glow plug light is on. Let's see if we see anything. Oh, there it is, it worked. Yeah, so we know our glow plug is working now. That's awesome. Be truthful, really didn't start up any better than before. All right, we're going to end this video off here. Hopefully this helps somebody. I'm so glad we dove into this. It's been such an annoying problem. This is my first winter with this truck and it really uh, is bad when you want to go crank up your big bad four wheel drive and it won't start while it's cold. And you're like, I wish it was a gas engine, but no, these things work when things are working properly the way they're designed. But anyways, we're gonna end it off here. Uh, please leave a comment if you, um, 
enjoyed this video or disliked it both of them are great because i need to know feedback please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and on to the next one